In this Sean and Liberty video, I bring you a complete guide on how to defeat the floor 13 secret dungeon boss of the lightning jump attacker. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and I'm giving away 1000 plus Lucent every few days. If you'd like to win, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below and make sure you are subbed. I'll pick winners from the comment section and announce them in a couple of days. So good luck everybody. So the floor 13 secret dungeon boss is the lightning jump attacker. Surely they could have come up with a better name, but I guess it does describe this boss and exactly what he does. Okay, so to start this fight, you need to transfer energy from one rock to the other two. Now upon approaching these rocks, you will see a red glowing one. This is the one you need to run to first and then drag that beam to the other two. News first. Then the boss fight will start. Okay, so this boss has a few moves which are quite devastating, but all can be quite easily avoided. So the first, he likes to jump at you. This you can easily run out the way of or easily dodge. He will then stomp the floor which brings up that dodge block marker. This you do want to dodge or block because here he stomps the floor and it will stun you in place, lighting up that field with raining thunder, raining electric, which does do some dirty damage. Now he also does another devastating attack, which only seemingly happens when you're far away from him. He kind of punches the ground, stuns you in place with electric, and this can be, like I said, devastating. So if you stay near him, he doesn't do this move. But keep in mind, the nearer to him you are, he will do like kind of light attack grand pounds and stumps, but these are real easily avoidable. Around the halfway point, the boss jumps up into the air. Here, guys, you have the same thing you need to do as you did at the start with those rocks and that shield. Here, I think it's time, so be semi quick. Now, doing it right, you are shielded from his attack as he re-enters the fight with a massive ground pound and again guys here you need to run to that red glowing rock and pull that beam to the other two near his first and you should be good now when he comes back into the fight guys he just does another cycle of doing what we just spoke about uh, with a couple of devastating attacks like I said but if you stay close to him you can easily dodge the one and the other one he doesn't do when he punches the ground again this one he only does if you're quite a distance away from him so stay kind of near to him and it's quite an easy boss fight I won't lie to you on screen now guys you're seeing a start to finish fight of me taking out this boss and yeah well I hope the video helped you out if you did leave a like it really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one.